everyone. Welcome back at Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. It is above 45 degrees here in the Northeast, which means spray paint. Stay tuned. I love working with plutonium for a couple of reasons. One, obviously it comes in so many colors, so that is right up my alley. I also love that when you apply it, it comes out in such a fine mist that you rarely get drips and it really adheres to anything. I have a project in mind. There are lots of nooks and crannies and what I don't want is dripping. I don't want tackiness and I know that this is gonna do the trick. All right, the most important decision, choosing my colors. I'm gonna do that, 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 and that. Plutonium also has all these different spray heads, so you can really choose the one that suits your project the best. Each can comes with the beige cap, which is really good for small projects, so I'm just gonna leave that alone. Just like any spray paint, you need to shake the can for a minute. You also want to make sure you're working outside in a well-ventilated space. I'm using my spray shelter just so I don't have spray getting everywhere. But honestly, with plutonium, there's not a lot of overspray because it's such a fine mist. Let's get going. Because it is such a fine mist, there's not a lot of opportunity for dripping, which is one of the reasons that I love this product. I'm about to start the next one, and I want you to notice two things. First of all, I painted that entire statue green. Notice how little overspray there is, which is one of the reasons that I love this paint, because you don't waste a lot. The challenge for these busts in particular is, again, I mentioned how many nooks and crannies there are. I would never be able to get into all those crevices with the paintbrush, and I would be really worried with a regular spray paint that it would drip in all of these places, because I really do need to hold the can pretty directly in order to get into the nooks and crannies. And again, there is no dripping. It is perfect. I think I stopped spraying about a minute ago. It's already dry to the touch, enough so that I can move it around and get to the back. Can we talk about how cool all of these look? I wanted to include the cans just so you could see that the color is Spot on, perfect, which I love. There is nothing more frustrating than doing a paint project and realizing that the paint you thought you were gonna get is very different than the paint you are going to get. I was trying to match some wallpaper and because of all the colors Plutonium offers, I was able to do that perfectly. I also want you to notice how flawless the coverage is. These statues are all different materials. There are lots of nooks and crannies. Because the spray is so fine, there was no dripping and it looks perfect. Because there's not a lot of overspray, I also have essentially full cans of paint left. So for me, that is a huge benefit. Make sure you check the link in my profile to go see all the different colors plutonium has to offer. You're also going to want to check out my blog post, which I linked in the profile to see what I did with these guys and where they are in my house. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a great day, everyone.